Hey guys, as I start this video, I want to give a shout out to Matt, who is my cousin. He lives outside Washington, D.C. Matt, good to connect with you, and I hope you're enjoying your new EDC knife. Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're talking about this right here, which is the Topps 3X Dicer, or Triple X Dicer. This is, as you can probably tell, a kitchen knife. You can see it's been used. We've got some uh, kind of staining there. What I'm going to do is talk through my experience with the knife, and I'm going to roll in footage of the knife in use as I actually do that. So I've got a couple other kitchen knives from Tops. Let me show you here. We've got the uh, Dicer 3, which is right here. Now this one and the Dicer 8 I'm about to show you come in S35 yen for the steel. So that's the uh, handle. There's your blade. They do come with Kydex sheaths. I'll show you the uh, sheath for the 3X or triple X Dicer in a minute. Here's the Dicer 8. Really nice, like chef's, I think it's called a chef's knife. So let me tell you a couple things that um, I've been thinking about. All right, so first off, I posted a picture of this one on Instagram not too long ago and just asked people who have experience in cooking, like real cooking, not just like Tim likes to cook at his house, but you know, you're a, you're a cook of some sort in a restaurant, whatever it might be, you have training. What would you use this for? How would you use it? In general, uh, the feedback I got was like, this guy and the Dicer 8 are very going to be similar in their function. Obviously, there are some differences. However, this one can be used more effectively as a cleaver. So I've been using this one in the kitchen quite a bit, um, and I like it. And I do find that I use it sometimes instead of the Dicer 8, and then I want to use the Dicer 8 instead of this, depending on what I'm doing. Let me give you some of the details on the uh, on the Triple X or the 3X Dicer here. I keep saying Triple X or 3X. I don't know. Is it like 3X is 30? So is it the 30 Dicer? I don't know. Anyhow. I'm calling it the 3X Dicer. That's my new name for it. So hopefully tops, you like that. Anyhow, let me give you some details here. Your thickness is 0.13 inches. Your end-to-end -end length is 8.88 inches. It is 440 high carbon steel. So that's different, obviously, than your S35 Yen. Uh, this little stain you see down here is I was cutting some apples up and I didn't clean it off quickly enough and that, you know, the acidity and the stuff in the apple, the juice, sat on there for a while and so it left that little stain. That's all good because it, you know, makes it look pretty, I think, and they, like you're actually using it instead of it just sitting in the kitchen and never being used. Your Rockwell hardness for this is 58 to 56 at the widest portion, so from here all the way to the spine, you're looking at four inches. G10 handles there, you can see it's, um, I guess you could call them red. They're red, they have like a tinge of maybe maroon in there uh, with the black and uh, it is full tang in case you were wondering. Um, comparing this one, again, with the Dicer 8. Some similarities as far as you've got G10 handles, different colors obviously. Again, S35 yen and 440 high carbon for this one. So one thing they did note on the website is that this is good for pinch grip. Now the others are as well, but this one in particular, basically, you know, you're gonna hold it like this and do your chopping. Um, I found with all these knives, just because of, let me show you again with this one, the way that the blade works, you know, your blade's coming all the way to here, so you gotta be careful not to get your finger riding up against that little point there because that could hurt. Same thing with this one, not on this point, but on this point right here. So you just got to be attentive. I found this one when I'm slicing through um, maybe smaller things like say tomatoes or maybe onions. And then when I get done, because of how wide it is, that four inches across, I like to use it to scoop things up and put it into like a bowl or something like that. Here's a look at it in the kydex and then drawing it out like so. You want to be careful when you're sliding it in. Just make sure you're not putting it in at a weird angle. Nice and level and then slide it in. It'll lock in. Um, if you really shake this thing, hold it like this and shake it, it will come out. This is actually how I keep it in the drawer because it is so wide. I don't want to put it, try to put it into a, um, I just don't have a drawer deep enough. That being said, you know, I use it, make sure I clean it off, dry it off, and then give it maybe five minutes to like Dry it off with a towel and then let it air dry and then once that is done, actually put it back in. So let me roll in some footage here of this knife in use and I'll just give you some thoughts on it. So it did the job for everything that I placed in front of it. Like I said, I like to use it to slice and then scoop. You can certainly do that with a chef's knife or with the Dicer 8. The Dicer 3 not so much just because it's so small. But this one is going to be more effective in that just because it is bigger. You can kind of use it almost like a spatula to scoop things up. Um, I did also notice that because of just the size of it and it just it works like a cleaver like a small cleaver in some ways which is really nice as well now this knife is not made to be an outdoors knife but it is made to be used for cooking so if you're out camping or backpacking whatever and you're going to be doing a ton of cooking especially for a lot of people you're probably going to want to, you're going to want a knife like this or maybe the dicer three or dicer eight 
instead of just trying to you know use your pocket knife to cut a tons of ton of things up. Now you can do that obviously. It's just going to be much easier and more efficient with a bigger knife uh, like this guy. But I you know I use it to cut a variety of things, so meats, vegetables, fruits, all kinds of things, and it, it did the job for all of the, for all of them. Um, it is going to be a little bit easier to sharpen because of the fo being 440. I don't think S35VN is terrible, but just you know 440, it's going to um, it's probably going to dull more quickly. But that also means you can sharpen it more quickly. I've had this thing for probably four months, and I have not had to sharpen it up really at all. So I don't think I've put it to a sharpener once as I'm thinking of it. So obviously it's kept the edge, and I've used it quite a bit. So as far as your price points for these different knives, 127 for the Dicer 3, 189 for the Dicer 8, and then this one is coming in at 199. So, you know, they're not, a, it's not a cheap knife. This is definitely one of those, like, I'm gonna invest in it and this is gonna be one of my, you know, four or five main knives that I'm using in the kitchen. They do do also have some smaller, um, I can blank it on the name, I'll put it in the in the subtitle here, but it's like like the frog knife or some frogger knife or something like that, I can't remember, but they do have some other kitchen knives that have been out for a while. Um, I like this guy just for the look of it. I think that's part of the appeal. And then again, that the width of it allows you to chop, to scoop, to do different things like that. Now, let me just say real quick, if you are a cook, and not just like, you know, I like to cook at home, but like you cook a ton at home, or you are a cook at a restaurant, you have been in the past, leave me some feedback and tell me your thoughts on this one versus the Dicer 8. The Dicer 3 is obviously, a, you know, a smaller knife, but how do you compare these two? What would you use it for? Would you go with this one? Would you go with that one? What do you think? Um, Tops makes, like I said, we got three that I've shown you here, at least two more, I think. So that's five kitchen knives. I and mean, you can almost get a whole set out of there if they put together some, uh, you know, some steak knives as well. Um, I have no concern about this thing, you know, breaking or having any issues. Tops obviously stands behind their products. They're nicely made products um, and, and well made. But uh, yeah, it's just a cool, cool tool. If you're looking for something to use in the kitchen, this is something I would buy. If you're looking for something to use in the kitchen and then a lot outdoors, I would not buy this. This is just not made for that. I'm not batoning, I'm not doing feather sticks, anything like that. This is meant to be a kitchen knife. Um, but it has worked well. I will tell you a couple um, just observations. Like I said, be careful with that point. I've got large size hands. You can see how that fits in my hand. No issues whatsoever. Even if my pinky is kind of riding back here a little bit or it's falling, you know, kind of falling off the edge, I'm not chopping like really aggressively, even if I'm chopping like a cleaver, I'm not going nuts. So I feel like I've got total control on it. Um, sharpening it may be a little bit of a challenge for some people to get that to get that edge, you know, because it's so rounded, like anything that's got a belly can be a challenge for people. So heads up on that. Um, I was able, this is not a super sharp point here, but I was able to pierce, you know, a little bit. You generally, it's hard to go like this to pierce into something and then cut it. Um, but it's been a great tool. I've really liked it a lot. And um, yeah, it's definitely an investment, but it's something that you'll have for your whole life. So uh, if you own any Tops kitchen knives, I wanna hear from you, especially in the comment section. And then from everybody else, also just your thoughts and comments on the Tops Triple X or 3X Dicer. Sunlight is going crazy today. But anyhow, thanks for checking out the video here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.